just climbing up out of Alabrada, which is 300 meters off Aponte. Uh, just set off pre-dawn. It's dawn in about 15 minutes. And a light drizzle all the way. It was rain forecast for today and I thought I'd get away with not wearing rain gear initially, but oh, within 10 minutes I have to put it on. And now it's getting heavier, so I better put the camera away. But hey, any weather is good when you're on the Camino. Oh, there's nothing like walking over mountains in the rain. It's actually not bad visibility, is it? I wonder what's around the corner. And I wonder how far breakfast is. In the uh, pension last night, they uh, they put out breakfast, but it was like coffee and bread. And I thought, no, I'll get an early start. They give me an incentive to get to the next village, which is quite a large place. I think it's got a couple of cafes. So let's get on there. The countryside is now developing a very Galician look. I mean, we've been in Galicia for a couple of days, so <clears throat> but. Uh, the trees and so on are much more like you see, for example, on the last hundred of the uh, Francis. Well, probably the last 200. What am I talking about, Rob? <coughs> this is more the sort of landscape you expect to see in Galicia. Uh, now, I've just had a quick check of m maps me. <coughs> Looks like I'm about three kilometres from a Pobra. That's going to be my breakfast stop. So I'll certainly be there within the hour, probably by nine o'clock. So I'll have a bit of a break there. It's quite chilly this morning. And uh, so I'll have a good breakfast, warm up a little bit. And then I think from there it's 12 kilometres to Monforte, which is undulating. It's not flat, but certainly looking at the profile, it's undulating. And the rain has stopped while I was having breakfast. It's a bit of a stream over there. I can't really see it. <coughs> Very pleasant now. Hopefully it'll be like this all the way into Monforte. I haven't studied the guides that closely to work out whether it's roads or tracks or whatever but I tend to just look at the profile so <clears throat> I know there's any big hills or anything but this is very pleasant walking I've seen four pilgrims today uh, two Spanish guys I think a father and son who were staying at the pension where I was last night and a German couple I saw a couple of days ago as I was leaving the cafe they were just stopping that seems to be about par for the course on the Invierno not a lot of people around I think it'll get a lot busier though once we get close to Santiago <clears throat> I would need to refer to the map, but I think it's Orense, where we start to get within 100 k's, uh, and also the San Abreus. Let's make sure these rocks are not slippery. No. Uh, also, that's where the San Abreus joins in, some, somewhere sort of around there. So there'll be a few more people joining. That's nice, get a blend, a few days of fairly sort of isolated walking and then a few days meeting up with other pilgrims, it's a nice mix. Alright, I better stop filming because I'm going to trip over these stepping stones. Funny the things you see when you're walking around old castles. Looks like a duck. Sounds like a duck. Just 
just chilling in Monforte before heading to bed, probably by 10 o'clock. Uh, I had a very nice lunch just over there. I'm tending to go for a menu del dia lunch about 2 to 3 o'clock and then really not eating in the evening. Although I have found a wonderful drink that helps you get to sleep. If you haven't tried this, it's called Liquor de Albias. And you get a little tapas with it. It is very, very nice. Good for pilgrims to get you to sleep.